Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the body cavities and how to name and distinguish between them. So, within the body our organs and systems are protected and separated by membranes, and we call the inside area of those membranes a cavity. There is a dorsal body cavity, which houses the membrane enclosed structures of the back of our body, and there are the ventral body cavities, which house the membrane enclosed structures of the front of our body. So when examining the body there will be two major subdivisions of the cavities and we're going to uh, learn about both of them but for now we'll start with the dorsal. So there's the two groupings. Starting with the dorsal cavity, it's located on the back of our body and will house and protect our brain and spinal cord which is otherwise known as our central nervous system. So obviously something very important to protect. From here, we subdivide the dorsal cavities into two segments and we refer to the cavity that houses our brain as the cranial cavity. And the cavity that houses our spinal cord we'll refer to as the vertebral cavity. So cranial cavity and vertebral cavity. Now, that's because the uh, vertebrae of the spine aren't just to keep us standing upright, they're also there to protect the spinal cord. So vertebral cavity, and I'll just write quickly here, houses the brain for our cranial cavity, and for our vertebral cavity houses the spinal cord. Now just moving on over to our front view here, we can see that the cranial cavity again uh, from a different view. Now just to show you that one there before we move on to our ventral body cavities. So now the ventral cavities are on the front of the body and typically house and protect our organs. Now we have the superior mediastinum which is uh, one of the first subdivisions of our, our ventral body cavities. So ventral body cavity here encompasses everything from front view and side view. Now onto our medial mediastinum or superior mediastinum. So the superior mediastinum is going to um, house and protect our trachea and esophagus, which will travel through it. Now we also have our pericardial cavity, which is going to house the heart. And we're going to also have the pleural cavities, which are these two on the outer sides here. So just draw those there. So those two are both known as the pleural cavities and they're going to obviously house your lungs. So, pleural cavity. So, we are housing the heart in the pericardial cavity. Just taking a note of that there. Housing the heart. And now for the sternum, which is a, a flat bone on the front of the superior mediastinum, protects the trachea and esophagus, but also protects our aorta, which is the largest artery in the body. So just write that down, protects the aorta. And apart from that, just our lungs are being housed in the pleural cavities. Now we have two other subdivisions within our ventral cavities, and they are the abdominal cavity and the pelvic cavity. So up the top here, the abdominal cavity. And once we move down to the bottom here, we've got our pelvic cavity. Now, both of these uh, cavities here house uh, different organs and different structures. And we'll just make a list of that now. So our uh, abdominal cavity is responsible for housing and protecting our digestive viscera. So we'll write that now. Houses the digestive viscera. So all of our intestines, basically. Our intestines, our stomach. 
and our pelvic cavity, that's going to house our bladder and our reproductive organs. Now all of these separate cavities, they're just extra measures of protection and separation for all of the organs within your body. Now one last point to make with our ventral cavities is that they have a lot more subdivisions in our dorsal cavities. And we'll just point out here quickly as well that we've got an anterior view, which is the person facing the front of you, and also a lateral view, which is the side-on view. Now, we're just writing that down here because we're going to have to start to familiarize ourselves with directional terminology and the correct names. So we've got anterior and lateral. Now, as I said before, the last point to make is the ventral cavities have a lot more subdivisions in our dorsal cavities. So to make things easier, we group the top segment together and refer to it just as the thoracic cavity. So that encompasses your superior mediastinum, uh, the pericardial cavity, and your pleural cavities. Now that's just the thoracic cavity. And we do the same with the abdominal and pelvic cavities. And that one's simple to name, just mash the two together, we've got the abdomino-pelvic cavity. So that's all of the cavities in the body, guys. We've got the dorsal and the ventral, and now you know the correct name for all of them and how to subdivide them. I hope this has been helpful for you guys. And as always, take the quiz to check your understanding of the course material. Thanks for watching.